starting now. All right, this is our next video. It's called the water cycle. But today I have my class, uh, my students with me. Some of my students. Can you all introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jason. My nickname is Tony Red Mechanics. And introduce yourself. I'm uh, I'm Matthew Dijon and. Uh, from? From Iowa. Alright, and we have. Oh, my nickname is Angie, but I want to name today my nickname Thomas Edison. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good morning, everybody. This is our next video. We have this video uh, for the topic water cycle. I have here with me some of my students from Ironwood. Maybe you would like to introduce yourself. My name is Alina Chang. Hi, my name is Fitzson. My nickname is Tony Red Mechanics. My name is Matthew. I'm from Iowa. I'm in Iowa. Hi, I am Lai Sun Yi. Okay, and she, but I want to name my nickname Thomas Edison. And of course, we have Sean with us as well. Okay, now the topic on water cycle. We're going to do the revision together and. And first thing, uh, water cycle is the continuous. What is water cycle? It is a continuous movement of water from the earth to the sky and back to the earth again. If you can see, look at this diagram here. This diagram represents is the water cycle. Okay, I'm just going to write down here water cycle. Okay, and water cycle basically goes on and on and on. Will water cycle ever stop? No. 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 no it's right? forever. It keeps going and going and going. Alright. Now, uh, another thing we need to take note of is we, water cycle is the main source for water cycle to occur is the sun. Alright, without the sun there will be no water cycle. Okay, because the sun provides the sun provides heat. Okay, for water cycle to occur. So the sun is the main source of water cycle. I'm just going to write down here, main source of water cycle. Okay, and the sun provides heat so that water cycle can, can continue. Now, okay, good morning everybody. This is our next video. It's called the water cycle. Okay, uh, the topic of water cycle. I have here with me some of my students from Ironwood. Maybe you would like to introduce yourself. My name is Anina Chia. My name is Fitzson Go, and my nickname is Tony Red Mechanics. My name is My name is Matthew Dizon, and my nickname is Fire One Two Three. My name is Lai Sun Yi. My nickname is Thomas Edison. Okay, we have Wei Heng with us. Nicole and and of course and of course we have Sean with us. Okay, now water cycle. When we think about water cycle, the first thing that comes into our mind is water cycle is the continuous movement of water from the earth to the sky and back to the earth. As you can see in this diagram, this diagram shows the water cycle. I'm just going to write down here water cycle. Okay, water cycle goes on and on and on. Let me ask you, my students here, will water cycle ever stop? No! no! Okay. It's forever! No. That's right, water yeah. cycle never stops. It just goes on, okay, and on, and on, all right? There's no start, there's no end, but it keeps go, going on and on and on. The continuous movement of water. Okay, now let's look at the next diagram here. Now, before we go on with the water cycle, we must remember uh, some... The main source of water cycle. Can somebody tell me what is the main source of water cycle? The sun! That's right, the sun. The sun, the sun I'm going to color here. The sun is the main source of water cycle. Without the sun, there will be no water cycle. Okay? The sun is the main source. Okay, the sun allows, uh, provides heat for the water cycle uh, to occur. Okay, main source of energy. Main source of energy for water cycle. Okay, let me just raise here for water cycle. So that it provides heat for the water body. Can somebody give me examples of water bodies? Anybody? Matthew? Snow. Water bodies. Rivers. Rivers. Sea. 
Ocean. Ocean, seas. Lakes, lakes, lakes. Swimming pool. Lakes. Swimming pool. Hey, what I'm else? glad to say answer that you said. I also say. Reservoir. Reservoir. Reservoir, etc. Swimming pool. And etc. Alright. So, Falls, waterfalls. Oh, oh. So the sun. Look here, look here. The sun provides heat, right? The sun provides heat for the water bodies so that water, once the water body gains heat, it will evaporate. Okay, and the water cycles uh, continues. Okay, now the two important processes in water cycles. Listen, what evaporation and condensation. Now please remember how to spell evaporation and condensation. Two important, important. two important processes for water cycle is evaporation condensation. and condensation. Condensation. Thanks for waiting, the Thomas Edison. Okay, I'm going to just write down here. Enjoy yourself, YouTube. Now, this diagram I'm going to just show. Once again, let's say this is the water bodies, all right? Just write down here. Okay, the sun is the main source of energy. We already know that. The sun provides heat, okay, for the earth. And the heat in turn heat up the water bodies. First process that will occur, Nicole, maybe you can tell us what will happen when the water bodies gain heat. What is the process? Evaporation. Evaporation will occur, right? So I'm going to just write down here evaporation. Yep, liquid to gaseous state. Of course, it changes from liquid to gaseous state. And that gaseous state is called, Ernest, the gaseous state that water turns into, what is it called? Gas. Water what? Vapor. Water vapor. Thanks for Matthew. All right, water vapor. Fire one, two, three. Okay, so evaporation occurs that uh, and, and water bodies changes into water vapors. Water vapor will rise up to the sky. Now we all know that the sky up there, the higher atmosphere is colder. So when water vapor comes into contact with the colder surrounding, the next process that will occur is what's the next process? Condensation. Condensation. Okay, C O N. D E N S A T I O N. Correct spelling. Okay, and condensation, water vapor turns into. Clouds. Water droplets, of course, same. Okay, turns into clouds. And clouds is also the. Clouds is equal to. Clouds is equal to. Water droplets. Louder, please. Water droplets. Yes, water droplets. Of course, then becomes rain. Right, okay. Mr. Wong? And when, the, when a lot That's of water droplets start gathering together, the clouds get heavier. And of course, the next, uh, next will be precipitation, which will fall rain. as rain. rain. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's from earlier also. Let's go to the next one. Now, look at this diagram here. Once again, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One represents the main source of energy. Who can tell me what is one? Sun. The sun, let's sun, just label sun, here. Sun. And let's start with five. Look at five. Sea. What is five? Water body. Water body, Water which is the C, alright? Yep, also can. And look at three. Three is a process. Can somebody tell me what is three? Let evaporation. Evaporation, good. Okay, I'm gonna just write down here evaporation. Whoa. Okay, water vapor will rise up to the sky. And what is two? Need me the process yeah. first. Clouds. Okay, clouds is two. Okay, but need me the process that causes clouds to happen. Condensation. Condensation. Correct. Thanks from Thomas Edison. You're welcome, right. Doll. Let me just. Okay, wait. Condensation. Please spell correctly. And remember when the, when the clouds uh, gathers. It gets heavier and it will fall as number four. What is number four? Rain. 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 Okay. Precipitation back to the earth and some of the water will go into the ground and some of it is groundwater, yeah. some will just come off as and some runoff. Will sun again. If sun is comes here, the water becomes a water vapor. Okay, so this is the entire process of water cycle. Yep. Also, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep it just going. it just keep going, yeah. and going and going round. Forever. And round. Go as forever. All right. I know. Until when. So now this, 
why are we learning about water cycle and why is water cycle important? Okay. Who can tell me? Who can tell me why is water cycle important? It brings back a natural supply of fresh water for, for living things. That's right. Water cycle allows a, a fresh supply of water for living things to survive. Okay, if we were to put it down in words, water cycle is important because it ensures a constant supply or continuous supply of what? Of dirty water? No, of fresh water! Of course, of fresh water. Remember that guys, this is going, this is actually hard. Okay, yes, of fresh remember water. That for all is sake, alright. Constant supply of fresh water for living things. We call it as Tony Red Mechanics. To survive. YouTube, listen okay. And we know. So now, uh, a bit of a revision. Water gains heat from? Gains heat from... The sun. The sun. The sun. The sun, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And it turns into changes its state from liquid to gaseous. Of course, the process is evaporation. Then after that, condensation. And it rises Clouds. up. And condensation. And clouds is water droplets. Like turn into clouds. Clouds is equal, Alina. What is clouds? Water droplets. Yes, thank you, Alina. Water right. droplets. And when the clouds get heavier, it will fall as rain. So this, this. is this is precipitation. This is a water cycle. Wow, cool. Okay. But in cold countries, they will come down. And the end. Thank you, Mr. Ong. That's right. Just as what Nicole has mentioned, in some colder places, it, precipitation may occur as snow or sleet or hailstones. One okay. country has snow, may I tell you? What country would that Korea be? Korea or Japan? Yes, colder or places. London. Or London or US, right? Yeah, okay, that's all for the water cycle. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Can all of you say thank you? Thank, thank you! you. And right. the end. And that's I all. am Tony Wet Mechanics. I, I am Thomas Edition. Stop.